Hey, welcome back everybody. Beautiful November morning. We are going to use the 1025R today with the dethatcher, do some trail maintenance, some leaf cleanup along here. Rifle season is just around the corner and I want to get these trails dialed in. You know, cleaning up these trails will allow me to walk through pretty quiet, you know, to my deer vines and get set up. The flip side of that is I won't be able to hear the deer as well if they are using those same trails. However, I will take that trade off and for me, I've been wanting to do this on my own property for years and years and years, so I'm excited to get started. Hey, and you guys know what to do. If you enjoyed the video, hit that like button down below, subscribe to see more, and if you're looking for something for your tractor, maybe one of these dethatchers or something else, make sure you check out goodworkstractors.com. We've talked all about these dethatchers before, and this is just one of the many uses for this tool. This thing was light enough where I just threw it in my truck bed by myself, brought it out here to the property, hooked it up to the 1025R, and we're going to get to work. So an application like this is where a small tractor really excels. You know, you can see what we have to navigate through, in and out of trees, around tighter corners, a bigger tractor like the 4720 is just too large. Now, I do think a tractor like a Kubota B series, a John Deere 2 series is still gonna manage pretty well. You start to get to a 3 series, and that's kinda gonna be the borderline on a lot of this, unless you really start to open up your trailways. So this dethatcher is 60 inches wide. It's a little bit wider than the tractor itself, which is no big deal. Again, it weighs about 50 pounds. It's not putting any kind of a strain or a load on the tractor itself. It's nice to have a little bit wider footprint, but not too much wider. And this isn't going to do a heavier grade almost like the landscape rake did that we used previously. This is simply skimming the surface, collecting those leaves. We'll just back up, push them off to the side. It may be called a dethatcher, but it's really just a rake. So instead of doing it by hand, you're just using your tractor to do it. These are spring tooth tines. They are replaceable. You can order the dethatcher right through us at Goodworks Tractors. If you need to get something down the road, a part, a tooth or a, a bar or something that you bent, you can order those parts right from CMP. It's that time of year too where we're doing some Christmas shopping and some planning. These items are in stock right now with us at Goodworks Tractors. They actually come in a cardboard box. It's about five foot tall and then nine inches by nine inches. So we ship them UPS ground right to your house. Great to fit underneath the Christmas tree or for Father's Day or for a birthday, but we did a whole video about all the uses for a dethatcher. That name's a little deceiving. It's very multi-purpose one of the more affordable tractor attachments, I'd encourage you to check it out. We are well underway with our leaf drop and we have a pretty good amount of leaves all along the trail. There's still more to come, but this is gonna be a good start on getting them cleaned up. So I'm excited to get started, so let's get to it. I hate to say it, but this is the second time that this trail in particular has stumped us. Couple passes with a tiller, take those big humps and uneven areas out, and then come back through with a land plane, you could also use a box blade, and just drop it down, see if we can smooth it all out, and make it good to go. 
Oh, hang on, hang on really quick. This is, this is Courtney from the future, about two hours later, okay? Let me tell you, Courtney from the past, you're about to waste your time. Don't use a tiller. Don't use a land plane. Those are the wrong tools for the job. You're gonna regret it. I beg you, do something different. I beg you, do something different. I beg you, do something different. To be perfectly honest, we spent about three or four minutes of time and got, I don't know, 100 yards in, and you had to go back and forth a few times, which is pretty typical. With a rake, right, you're kind of going over and over and over. Same concept with the dethatcher. However, given the sheer length of trails that we want to clear today, I just don't know if this is the right tool for the job. However, it dawned on me. You know, I pay attention to the comments that you guys put down below. Just a few minutes in, there's another tool that's right for this job. And it may seem a little unconventional, but I bet it's gonna do the trick. Okay, so we're gonna use a flail mower. This one has hammer blades on it, brand new. I kept one for myself. We're gonna do a comparison between hammers and Y blades in a future video as well. A lot of you guys mentioned using a flail mower for trail maintenance, kind of like that mulcher head that we use on the skid steer, but you can tackle the sticks, the debris, the leaves, the branches, whatever it is that comes down. We're gonna check it out. We're gonna try this out today and see if it can do a better job. Again, this is based on sheer volume of trails that we have to clear right now that we wanna maintain. If we were doing a smaller quantity, I'd probably stick with the dethatcher and Realistically, it, it's easy work to do with the dethatcher as well, but we're gonna give this a shot. We're gonna see if we can do any better. I am not immune to failures, and this is really what happens. <laughs> Angry. I don't want this to be a failure video, but it didn't work out today, and we're just running out of time. I would go back to the Thatcher at this point and just keep doing what I was doing, but I just thought I had this great epiphany to try something totally new after we had already started. Is that an apostrophe? I think you mean an epiphany. So you know what? These trails look great the way they are with all the leaves on them. For me, it was more about trying to get a one-up on a big old whitetail buck here next week. But instead, I'm just gonna make do and appreciate the beauty for what it is. So we used the landscape rake in a previous video and that worked pretty well, but it did do some grading on the ground, which I'm really not looking to do a whole lot of right now. And that's where the dethatcher comes into play. So for me at this point, I do think the dethatcher is the right tool that I wanted to use. It would just take a little bit longer than I had anticipated. A sweep all sweeper, that could be another possible option, uh, though with the leaves that hopper tends to fill up pretty quickly with nuts and sticks and other dirt and debris, it works a lot better. Honestly, if I had a mower deck out here with a size discharge, I could probably just use that pretty effectively. These are pretty smooth trails, not really overgrown trails by any stretch. Who knows? I just thought we'd get this job done pretty easy out here today, but it didn't work out. But if you've got another tool we should try, why don't you leave a comment and let us know. So anyway, we're gonna mix it up, change some plans. I need an extra set of hands to put together a deer blind. There's a couple hands I see holding the camera right there. So we're gonna go ahead, switch gears and put that blind together. 
get ready for deer season. So I've got three deer blinds. They're all a modular type of blind from Orion. And I prepped this spot yesterday and another spot as well with the skid steer and the mulcher head, which that thing continues to pay dividends. So not only did I cut in an opening for the blind itself, but I also cut in uh, two or three shooting lanes to the other side, the other field through the fence row, just so we can kind of see what's behind us and have a couple opportunities there as well. Okay, so this is a modular blind. It's actually pretty lightweight. You know, it's kind of awkward, so it's nice to have two people. I was trying to get some elevated platforms ready to go, but just ran out of time. So these all clip together, these different sections, put the floor down, put the panels together, just kind of clip them together. They're, I think, aluminum clad, uh, foam insulation in between. Get a roof on there too, but nice and quiet. I can, I can be in here with, with me and a couple of the kids too, and probably went overboard a little bit but these should last a really long time and be low maintenance and easy to move around if we need to. We finally built our home on the property. Come on in. Welcome. It's not much, but we call it home. Toolless construction. Huh. Had a room to spare. Darn right. How's so that that's all on? these clamps. There's one per panel to the roof, to the next panel, and to the floor. Every panel has a window. Just flip up or flip to the side. The ones that flip up have a bungee to hold them up. There's a vent over the door. If you want to keep uh, all your heat in and put a buddy heater in here. All we're missing is deer. They're sit, coming. Sit here long enough, you'll see one. They're coming. We saw 11 of them out there Friday. We just took off all the protective film, and so now you have a really good view with the windows closed. Open them up when you want to shoot. Well, if you enjoyed today's misery, <laughs> would you give me a like by hitting that button down below? Subscribe to see more tractor videos. And if you do want a tool for your tractor, make sure you check out goodworkstractors.com. Thanks again for taking the time to stop by. And until next time, stay safe. We'll see you soon. Yeah.